thank you. I'm Colem Ruto. Uh, I work with uh, a national consultant called Nakada, uh, which uh, I'm volunteering as a recovery coach, URC model. Uh, this is a program which targets youths in regards to wellness and uh, uh, in terms of awareness creation against alcohol and drug abuse, which has uh, targeted uh, youths. The youths are very uh, most affected. And now we are in TRT. Uh, we are partnering with the TRT Youth Development Organization, which I'm the founder. I'm also a reform alcoholic and drug addict, seven years clean. Uh, this program, uh, we normally go to schools and barazas and even outcast, or special programs like recreational activities, which we get uh, more youths there and share the message of recovery. We know this generation, Generation Z, uh, and also every uh, every year, a lot of youth are engaged on alcohol or recruited through alcohol and drug abuse. Every year, 200,000 youths are recruited in Kenya. And uh, we also, as a group, we also focus on issues concerning retrogressive culture awareness. This is early forced marriages and the FGM and issues concerning retrogressive culture. So as this community illiteracy level is very high and those who, people who are practicing retrogressive culture are very many. 82% illiterate against 18%. So these special programs are the only way that we can restore this community, which I'm hiding any Welisha or any humanitarian uh, support towards these uh, activities. This is a community which need a lot of humanitarian programs which we can reach out and also restore this community in, in regards to sanity. Maybe. I'm telling you uh, the issues of uh, school dropout because we are still focusing on illiteracy, uh, illiteracy matter. Because the illiteracy matter is the gap. Those who are not uh, uh, focusing on uh, education are have less chances and also dropping out of school and practice those bad arms of culture. That is bandit uh, sim and also issues of uh, uh, early forced marriages, stuff like that, even sapana, those bad uh, arms of culture that uh, practices that uh, triggers the issues of insecurity. We are teaching these youths to play a role, to be play a role in their community so that they fill these gaps. We know well there is insecurity, but they, be, can, they, they can be champions. They can be key role champions in those areas. They can reach out to the nearest, even the, 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 other, the other illiterate part, and they can talk to them because they are, these are their brothers, these are their neighbors. They can talk to them that they can be peaceful and they can settle and they can allow government to work because to bring development. We are really grateful with this government because uh, Honorable William Samuel, our president, and the area MP and they has now allowed to work with the government so that now we can bring sanity and development to this area on uh, issues concerning development and they are ready with the, any directives concerning national government and county government. You know well where we stand now. There is uh, challenges of uh, baby water. Take for example Silale. We are urging government even to use a flagship project. They can bring water from Lake Baringo as the, the same as a GDC that they have brought water, they can use that water to settle to the interior part. Those are the people, those are uh, so that these people they can use this water and settle and bring their animals close there. And now we have now first high school since independence in Silale. It's called in, in regards to mental health and alcohol and drug abuse, our youth. They come from mostly they come from dysfunctional families, and now 
Uh, these youths, both parents, they are alcoholics, and they they, they, uh, they end up selling alcohol for the way of life, which uh, these uh, these youths are having less chances or poor uh, judgment, poor poor decision making in regards to continuing with school, and they end up dropping out of school and uh, being repressed and use substances, abuse, alcohol, and they end up going to crime or even uh, practicing this uh, bandit which is another challenge. So in, in regards to mental health and alcohol and drug abuse, our youth, they come from, mostly they come from dysfunctional families. And now, uh, these youths, both parents, they are alcoholics, and they, 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 uh, they end up selling alcohol for the way of life, which uh, these, uh, these youths are having less chances or poor uh, judgment, poor, poor decision making in regards to continuing with school, and they end up dropping out of school and uh, being repressed and use substances, abuse, alcohol, and they end up going to crime or even practicing this uh, bandit zip, which is another challenge. So, uh, uh, teenage, we have the, we use also forums as, as WhatsApps, so that we can they can also we can introduce also uh, these uh, TVET courses that now government has put at place. We have uh, link more than even hundred to government training institute. It's called uh, uh, Baringo Technical College to do such courses uh, for skills. Building and construction, machinery, plumbing, electrical engineering, power installation, ICT, general agriculture, land survey, social work, because that's where government focuses on. The courses which are very skillful. They can bring those skills and they can restore themselves and even they can teach someone else and even they can employ someone. So these courses are the root cause. We are equipping them with these uh, skills. We are equipping them the knowledge of arms of alcohol and drug abuse. We are equipping them of uh, career choices and also leadership skill. They can play part as I as, as they are, as they are having those being champion in their community. The other thing is spiritual growth. We see. If you use also uh, matters concerning spiritual growth, they will be self-motivated and be encouraged. Uh, through this uh, VLI program that has been uh, at place for a while now, we recommend that this, this, they, are, they have done a very great, great job. And this is where I, uh, I, I, I urge Kenyans to focus on this humanitarian program to TRT. TRT is safe. We have only this one percent that also bringing some, uh, some, 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 some sanity not to be at place. But if we can focus on the humanitarian program or restore them to Hundia or Mashule. I'm telling you, I've uh, linked uh, even civil servants, uh, uh, teachers, uh, police, uh, chiefs, the area chiefs, and even doctors. I'm linking them to other rehabilitation, government NHF accredited rehabilitation. The challenge is we don't have a rehab center in Baringo, which urge Kenyans, our government, to chip in and build a rehab center in our place at, 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 at Baringo, so that we can have a easily format using even UHC cover to link our clients. So far, I have uh, like 20 clients that I have gone to. And uh, I'm telling you, recovery is a journey.